It's a triple threat. Money, power, intrigue. A mysterious young woman rents a beach house in the glitzy Hamptons, right next door to the family who sent her father to prison for life. But she didn't come to sip the daiquiris on the beach. Nope, she's out for vengeance. It's the plot of ABC's hit show Revenge, a guilty pleasure for millions of loyal viewers, including yours truly. And recently, I got to travel to the series set for the role of a lifetime. Action. You know the saying, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV? Well, I'm a journalist, and I'm playing one on TV. On ABC's hit show, Revenge. To the lovely and beguiling Miss Emily Thorne. The backstabbing drama swirls around the uber-rich Grayson family. Our heroine, Emily, exacts her revenge against them amidst the opulence and decadence of high society Hamptons. You never can tell with people, can you? Indeed. Madeline Stowe, who plays the frosty Victoria, matriarch of the Grayson family. Behind the scenes, you see what a daily grind it is. You know, long hours, weeks after weeks. How do you keep it fresh and going? Um, I, I don't know that you always do. That's <laughs> right, in all honesty. Stowe has a deep Freudian grasp of her character's vicious ways. I, I, I keep saying I think she has a personality disorder. You know? it's, it's a... It's a, it's an illness, right? You know, it's just not pure evil. Right. She does have a great deal of humanity for somebody who some. does. Some. <laughs> she does have a great deal, but no, she maybe not a hundred great deal. Just some. But all those devious maybe plots are actually hatched in the yeah. minds of the writers, who love to take their actors out for a dramatic thrill ride. How do you keep the suspense and the twists and turns? I'm hmm. not going to lie, it's kind of a challenge. Yeah. I bet. Um, because we're, we're twisting ourselves, trying to figure out all the twists and turns, but that's part of the fun. It's a, it's a ride that we get to ride as well. When it's time for my close-up, I'm shown to my trailer, then wardrobe and hair and makeup, where I upgrade to the revenge version of myself. My acting coach, my Nightline producer. And I'm like, I'm reading through the line. I'm sorry, Mr. Grayson. Are you saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. For my first scene, I interview the king and queen of the Hamptons court. Apparently, I'm not horrible. Every time you're nailing it, it's just oh, great. Thank so you. keep doing what you're doing. Okay, okay, that's freaking good advice. Great. I'm freaking out. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Killed it. Oh, good, thank you. Someone else who kills it week after week, Nick Wexler, who plays Emily's forbidden love interest, Jack Porter. It's but it like, feels like you're making a, like 10 seconds of television over 12 hours. It's a little more than 10 seconds, but it's it's like, it's just a few minutes, basically. You're just making a few minutes each each uh, 12 hour day. Yeah. Yeah. As you'll see on Sunday, Port Jack has his heart broken yet again by that vixen Emily, who repeatedly dumps him in order to take down the Grayson family by romancing instead the heir to the fortune, Daniel. Vanity Fair went so far as to call you this generation's John John and Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about that last part, but um, I won't deny I'm thrilled to be back with Emily.